despite government's effort to end tuberculosis in Nigeria by 2030. Persons affected by TB say they are still encountering different challenges that make life more, almost unbearable for them. To this end, they want the government, organizations and individuals to come to their aid to enable them to overcome such challenges and live a life of dignity that guarantees and safeguards the rights of persons affected by TB. Hamid Oyegbadi files in the report. The tuberculosis patients charter sets out the ways in which patients the community, healthcare providers, both private and public, as well as government, who partner to improve tuberculosis care and enhance the effectiveness of the healthcare process. In line with this, TB patients and survivors in Nigeria are calling on governments to do more, particularly in the area of funding for TB programming. So we are actually appealing and calling on the, the government of Nigeria both the federal and the state to step up the game so that people will not be dying of tuberculosis. Because tuberculosis, the treatment of tuberculosis is free, and so therefore people should not die of this disease. Meanwhile, officials of the National Tuberculosis, Leprosy, and Buruli Ulcer Control Program have been trained on the nexus between the law, gender, and rights that relate to TB. We have a dedicated program, that's a national TB program, that um, caters to people that have TB. The government is also providing free drugs, free testing services in all public and private facilities in Nigeria. Part of what is holding down the efforts to end TB by 2030, in, I, in my opinion, is the lack of a multi-sectoral approach or inadequate multi-sectoral approach that factors in human rights and gender issues. You know, the community and gender rights uh, approach to TB. And the training that we're doing today, or the meeting they're having today, is to train personnel of the NTB to understand or to enhance their knowledge of the nexus between human rights and TB response and all of that. I would believe that enough knowledge and deep in, uh, knowledge of human rights can enhance the ability to respond in the space and within the realm of gender and human rights with regard to TB in Nigeria. Meanwhile, stakeholders say they will work together to safeguard the rights of TB patients and survivors through preventing discrimination and stigmatization. Amid Oye Bade reporting for Trust TV.